Hey, have you heard about the baby maker? What's the baby maker, you ask? It's that electric bike that did a million dollars in sales in just 12 hours on Indiegogo. Yeah, that bike. You may also be asking, why are you holding a machete? Simple answer, I need your attention. And, well, a big ass knife is a great way to get it. So, if you're interested in the baby maker, stay tuned. I'll be giving you my biased opinion. What's going on guys, Ben here with FLX Bike and today I'm going to tell you why I think the FLX Baby Maker is one of the best electric bikes on the market right now. When you hear that statement, you may be thinking, what qualifies you to say something so bold as that? Well, I am head of content creation here at FLX Bike, so any pictures you've seen of the Baby Maker, any videos you've watched, chances are it came through my hands and I have a pretty intimate knowledge of the bike since I've worked with it for so long from eight months ago when we got the first beta bikes to where we are now. And in these strange times, I, I can't really go out and create more content for you guys because we're in a quarantine. So I'm gonna take you on a little adventure through my San Diego apartment as I try and get some work done and work while I'm getting work done. Yeah, that sounds right. I just take you guys with me and explain a few things about the Baby Maker and why I think it's one of the best. All right, guys, first and foremost, the biggest reason I fell in love with the Baby Maker is simple because it looks amazing. Clean, sleek lines, super minimalist. It, it really differentiates itself from any other e bikes out there. If you're familiar with others, you'll know that they tend to have a, a big, chunky battery that needs to be put on the down tube. I have a big giant frame that's that's cumbersome. It looks like you're riding a tank basically. If you ever seen a peewee football game and seen all the little kids running around with helmets that are way too big and shoulder pads sticking out a foot beyond each shoulder, that's what I think of normal electric bikes. They're big, they're bulky, and I'm just gonna say it, they're ugly, right? The Baby Maker is something different. If you haven't been around e-bikes before and saw it for the first time, chances are you wouldn't even know it's electric. And that's one of the things I love about it is we combine the clean looks of a normal fixed gear bike and incorporated the electric technology to make it run like a dream. It's stealthy, it's, it's unique, and it's, it's really something that you can ride and, and turn people's heads when, the, when you tell them it's electric and they find out for the first time. So, the number one reason I fell in love with this bike is simple, because it looks amazing. All right guys, let's talk about another one of my favorite things about the Baby Maker, which is the performance components. Now, the reason I'm so excited about these is because usually you get one or the other. You can have looks, you can have performance, but to get them both in the same package, whoo, that's something rare. So. Let's take a second and I'm gonna describe some of my favorite parts about the Baby Maker. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. I guess while well, I had you down here though, we should go ahead and talk about the Carbon Gates Belt Drive. So only the Baby Maker Pro is going to have this belt drive system. The standard Baby Maker is going to have a chain. But one of the advantages to this belt drive is one of the reasons we put it on the Baby Maker Pro version is that it requires a lot less maintenance than a normal chain. Uh, in addition to that, if you go out on a, on a rainy day and ride, you don't have to worry about your chain rusting. You don't have to worry about greasing it up. So if you, if you have the extra change, definitely recommend going with the Pro model to get this sleek belt drive system. Um, it's super smooth, super quiet. And one of, the, one of the differentiating factors that make this fixed gear different from a lot of the others. Now, if you guys will follow this beautiful belt drive to the back, you will find the powerhouse of the Baby Maker, your hub motor. Yes, this thing, this tiny little guy right here, 
is the motor for the bike. And what it allows you to do is basically have the strength of two or three extra humans in you, meaning you can climb hills faster than you've ever been able to. You'll surpass people on normal bikes. It allows you to put in less effort. So if you're commuting or whatnot, you don't have to show up sweaty, out of breath and overworked. And the third thing that the motor does is it just makes it fun. You know, when you crank that pedal assist up to level five, you can really fly. And personally, I've been able to ride at 25 miles an hour, sustained light pedaling on flat ground like it was nothing. So this sleek little hub motor in the back is gonna give you that extra boost to get everything out of the bike that you want. So we've talked a lot about the strength of the motor, but anyone who's seen Spider-Man knows that with great power comes great responsibility. It's for that reason that we hooked the Baby Maker Pro up with Magora MT3 hydraulic disc brakes. Let me show you these bad boys. So these things are super soft and responsive. They'll have you stopping on a dime and they're just some of the smoothest brakes out there. Honestly, I've never shook in Jesus' hand, but that's what I imagine it to feel like. And it's great to know that once you pull that lever, these giant rotors on both the front and rear of the bike are gonna help pull you to a stop immediately. So the last component I'm absolutely thrilled to talk about, I've said it before, I'll mention again, is the hidden battery, right? Where most electric bikes have a clip-on battery, we hid ours right here in the down tube, all right? If you look towards the front of the stem here, you're gonna see two little screws, right? The battery actually fits and goes all the way down to the bottom here. And that's one of those things that separates the baby maker from all other electric bikes out there is the fact that we tried to make it as subtle and as stealthy as possible. So if you're into these kinds of components, this is definitely the bike for you. Whew. As I mentioned before, guys, I'm working from home. It's lunchtime. I got to eat, so bear with me. But speaking of work, I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the use cases for the baby maker. One of the biggest ones being using it as a commuter vehicle, right? Use the baby maker to get to work. You're gonna save that one thing that we can't get more of, that is time. How many of you guys are, are sick and tired of sitting in traffic, just wasting your life away? Now you can ride to work. Number two, the great thing about commuting is that if you live in one of those hotter states, we're talking California, Arizona, Texas, Florida, any one of those guys, you can wear your work clothes Crank up the pedal assist to level five, ride to work, and you won't show up sweaty or exhausted. That's huge, right? The third thing that makes commuting on the Baby Maker great is that it's gonna save you so much money. Have you guys done the math? How much do you spend a week, a month, a year that you could be putting right into your pocket, right? You can get an extra charger for the Baby Maker. Leave one at work, one at the garage, ride it in, juice it up while you're there, ride it home. Think of all the time and money you save. All right, guys, the second use case I'm gonna talk about is probably the most obvious, is using the bike for exercise. What's great about it being electric is that if you have a very hilly neighborhood, or maybe you just don't have the endurance or the stamina that you once did, Having the electric motor gives you the ability to tackle those hills and go on those rides with friends and family members that you probably wouldn't be able to keep up with on a standard bike. Now, on that, you don't even have to use it just for exercise, you can also use it for therapy. A couple weeks back, I tore my meniscus in my knee fighting a grizzly bear. <laughs> At least that's what I tell people. I was roller skating at a birthday party and I fell. I don't want to talk about it. But anyways, one of the things I had to do was ride a stationary bike after my surgery to help build that strength back up. And I hated it. I hated it. You just stare at nothing, pedal, and you, you go nowhere. So what I ended up doing actually was taking a baby maker home with me and riding just a couple miles every single night 
slowly cranking that pedal assist from five down to four, down to three, to two, to one, all the way to the point where I had rehabbed my knee enough that it was strong to ride without any assist. Now, you don't need to use the bike just for this kind of therapy alone. If you have other ailments, it can also help. We had a guy who has arthritis in both his knees um, who used the baby maker, but instead of me telling you about that, I'll go ahead and just play the clip for you guys. Dude, I'm totally stoked. This baby maker is awesome. Oh, wow. I actually have uh, arthritis in both my knees. Really? So some days, you know, I can't get on the bike, but that pedal assisting was That's awesome. Cool. I felt no strain on my knees at all. Total uh, I mean, it's great. This is awesome. Yeah. This is phenomenal. Oh, hey. Work from home, they said. I'm oh, spun too far. You're my wonder wall. Wall? You're my wonder wall? I don't know. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys a pretty unique reason why I think the Baby Maker is one of the most amazing bikes out here. Check this out. So because I'm the head of content creation, I am constantly scrubbing through footage uh, and pictures and that sort of thing. So I get a unique perspective of seeing how people interact with the baby maker for the first time. If you look on my screen here, what I got up is sort of the timeline for our um, campaign video. We got hundreds of hundreds of clips here that you know add together to make up one cohesive video. But what I think is probably one of the coolest parts as I sit you guys down over here is that when I'm behind the camera, and I get back here into post, I have a unique opportunity to see people's reactions and how genuine they really are the first time they feel the power of the baby maker, the first time they even see it, the first time they realize, holy crap, this isn't an electric bike. So I'm gonna play some of those for you guys right now. Oh my God, I'm flying! <laughs> Wildly surprised. That was amazing. How's it feel, brother? This thing's rad. Nice. That's amazing. This is like a fixie on steroids, and I'm just at level one. How much power just like went straight into the bike? That was really cool. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! Like it took <laughs> off. I had to slow down. The guy that was on, like you said, the two thousand dollar bike. <laughs> I had to slow down. I was gonna. Just yeah. suppress them. That's insane. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, yeah. You'll never go back to the same old bike. I'm telling you. So just like those guys, I can go on and on about the Baby Maker. I can tell you how it comes in two different frame sizes so that regardless of height, you've got a bike that's the perfect fit for you. I can tell you about the six different color options so you can personalize it to your style. I can even tell you about the touring package where you get fenders, water bottle, and a cargo rack to throw stuff on the back. But if you're not convinced yet, I don't know what else to tell you. Again, I'm Ben, and this has been My Biased Opinion. Please, get out of here, I'm making a video. Jeez.